Uh, we will start the next presentation, and this is uh, a bit different than Luke's. Uh, Luke's is more about general organizational. Uh, this one is more about project management. So it's much more specific than the previous presentation. Uh, and uh, discuss uh, some of the work we've been doing in the area of project management and expanding uh, some of uh, new methodologies and new system. Uh, my name is Munir Rajam, and obviously I will be doing this presentation. Now, I know quite a few people, but how many people are not from project management in the room? Background? Um, engineering and uh, uh, currently uh, in, the, in the food industry. Engi in the food industry, but engineering. Engineering construction, okay, and production, uh, manufacturing, manufacturing. Any building, material. building material, okay. Uh, so mostly on still we are more on the engineering side, technical side, um, and I know we have telecom and we have uh, aluminum, Dubal here. Uh, how about? Oh, from email, okay. So aluminum as well. Uh, we have RTA. Uh, so we have uh, a different background. Okay, uh, what we're going to be presenting in this uh, discussion here is introducing something we call the SUCAD way. Uh, and this is our approach that we use for project management. As Luke said, we as an organization have put a lot of focus on research and development. And uh, we've been trying to come up with the new ideas. Obviously, uh, some of it is probably innovation. Some of it is just we learning from the global market and analyze and try to add uh, maybe different flavors or do different things uh, based on, on our research and observation and discussions that we have in the market with many clients across all industries. Actually, the audience today doesn't really represent the type of client we have because we work with uh, from all type of company from banks and financial institution, transportation, government agencies, uh, nonprofits, uh, definitely quite a bit of diversity of organization we've worked with. So some of the, the things that we have learned uh, from our global uh, experience and research, and also from our market experience and research, is we are coming up with some of our own approaches to managing project, and we are trademarking that as I call them the SUCAD way. And as I will discuss later, it's really two part at this stage. Uh, but the focus more on uh, uh, today is going to talk about project management maturity, and the focus will be on presenting to you a model of how you build a project management maturity within an organization. And in a way, that is the model that you see on the screen over here. Uh, we will be going through this. But before we can explain this model, we need to explain the background that is necessary behind it. So we have to explain, and, and uh, some of you are probably already familiar with this concept. Maybe some of you are new to this concept, which is understanding the project management maturity, and then introduce an element of maturity and the component uh, or the model that we have that we present to you here. Now, what is the SUCAD way? As I mentioned, it is our approach. Uh, it's the outcome of extensive research and development effort. It'll be going on as a program. Uh, Luke earlier talked about PBOs. One of the things that SUCAD aspired to do is to transform SUCAD, a small company, into a project-based organization. We're not fully there yet. I would, like, I would love to be, but we're not fully there yet. So as part of our effort, and we launch many programs, so we view uh, the strategic discussions that Luke has as something we live by every day. Uh, we have our corporate direction, we have our strategic vision, uh, uh, strategies, vision and mission. Uh, we reformulated our strategy about uh, seven or eight months ago. Uh, and as we move forward, uh, we divide the company into multiple strategic programs and portfolios. And one of them is our research and development portfolio which include the SUCAD way program. As a program, from a program management perspective, it had been around for about four years, uh, since 2007 when it was really picked up, and it's probably stay alive for another two to three years as a program, and then the program would be fin com probably completely finished, and obviously it would become totally operational. But I will talk about benefit realization, and being here today is part of the benefit realization of a active program that is ongoing. Again, maybe I'm speaking program management language right now. For some of you, it might be new. But we view this as a program that involves developing of methodology, developing of course material, developing of products, 
conducting event like this is all related as part of one strategic program for us. <clears throat> so what is the Sukkad way? Right now, uh, it consists of two components. And as we continue to work on this, we will be adding components in the future. The first component that was developed about four years ago, which is a focus on managing projects. Any project, anywhere, in any organization, how do you manage projects? Okay? And we came up with a methodology, which is what you see here on my left, uh, which we call the customizable and adaptable methodology for managing project. Now, why such a name? Because one size does not fit all. Project management must be customized to the industry, must be customized to the organization, it must be adapted to the department. Building back on the question Ali you raised earlier before the break, you cannot just take this as is and implement it in one organization and everybody can use it exactly as is. It has to be changed and adapted to the organizational need. Taking a Dubal or email or any major manufacturing organization, okay, your capital project might want to look at this in one way and your IT might want to look at it in a different way. Okay. What's common here is the principles is universal, are universal. There is no difference wherever you go in the world, in whatever type of project, that the principles of project management are going to be there. What's difference is application, how do you use that same knowledge to prevent, to, to apply that knowledge in different environment, in different situation, on different project classification. So this has still uh, been around for four years, and we continue to enhance and build on this. But it is a methodology for managing a single project, meaning you have a project, you want to manage it, how do you manage it? Is it building a house? Is it going to uh, coming up with a career plan? Or is it about uh, <coughs> uh, building a new refinery? Or is it about coming up with a new training program? Or is it about coming up with a new software? The same principle, you can use this methodology to help you apply and as you take the project from idea, which is, uh, I will probably show it better on the screen later, from idea to closure. And that's uh, basically a methodological way in order to deliver projects. <coughs> then the second aspect, and this is we've been working about probably for the last two years, but really it has not materialized fully yet, uh, into, uh, uh, into a formalized way is the Sukkad way for organizational project management, which means what? We know Luke talked about organization and strategic planning and program and portfolio. Now for an organization, this model here, any individual can take it and you can do it for your life project. In your personal life, you can use something like this. Some more maybe simplistic, but you can definitely use something like this. But as an organization right now, if an organization wants to excel, going back to the theme of the presentation today, organizational excellence, if an organization wants to excel in the area of project management, what does the organization need to do in order to improve? And that is the aspect and the focus of our organizational project management approach that I will be discussing in more detail this morning. Any questions so far? I'm trying to, see. if you have any question, please interrupt me. Don't wait to the end, because it probably make it better as we go through the presentation. Now, another way of looking at these two things is that this things here on the left, the camp, is basically help us to do a project right. Project management is about helping us do a project right, meaning any type of project again. How do you take that project from idea to closure and how can you do it well? That's the focus of project management in its basic form. And I'm using the term basic form because sometimes project management, we use it in a more advanced form to mean much more than managing a single project. An example of this is methodology, which is, as I mentioned, it helps us take a project from idea all the way to closure. And these little dots on top with red numbers are what we call gates or stage gates uh, and I can assure you, you cannot manage project without them, although many of them, when we talk to people, said, I don't have stage gate in my company. You do. You call them approval points, control points, interim reviews, whatever you might want to call them. That may be not as many, and maybe not as uh, 
uh, maybe not, we don't, maybe we don't have enough here, maybe you have more, okay? But basically the concept of reviews and approvals in order to ensure the strategic alignment. Now Luke talked quite a bit about strategy. How do we bring in a basic model like this into strategy? Gate one. If an organization believe in a strategic, that actually delivering to the strategic objective of the company, no project should be allowed to go ahead unless it's somehow linked to the strategic objective of the organization, either to the top organizational strategy or maybe to a division or a business unit strategy. Now, do we want to control that or not? Obviously, it depends on organization culture. We cannot uh, force this. We can recommend this. Now, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this model. Some of you probably attended the workshop on this about more than a year ago. Uh, but basically, it goes through further many steps. Uh, if you want to play with a mind map version of this at, after the, uh, the session, feel free. We have a computer screen over there. Uh, it's actually, it's a website. Uh, we have, uh, it's still very crude. It's exported from mind map, if anybody familiar with mind mapping software. Uh, but if you go to camp website, CAM2P, uh, dot com or uh, let's go you can go there or sucad backslash cam2p you will find a, a more description of this model uh, on uh, uh, through a mind map format and through some information not the full model there but at least you can see quite a bit of information about the model uh, the website is live but as I mentioned is not the professional website it more right now it is uh, is a learning website uh, about this model 